Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like this content and if you want to see more. There's also a little eye on the top right. I want you to just click that if you want and check out all other links there. I'm linking to a few other channels as well as this playlist so you can check out the old videos with ease. Here we are, we're going to do a little quick recap of what we did in the last video and how we're building all this together. So I have my object file open here and I just want to say that in the last video we went ahead and loaded in all of these vertices, vertex positions, vertex texture coordinates and vertex normals. So we have all those loaded in into these three vectors. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load in the indices. So these will relate to these. So whatever position index we have here will relate to a position in this vertex uh, or this vector here and this one to this one this one to this one so that's how that's going to work we're going to combine all of these together and shove them into this larger vertex array here and that's what we're going to do we're going to use this temporary gl int that we created to get all of these indices one by one so let's see what the problem is that we're facing literally facing since we have faces here each face corresponds to a triangle. So these three vertices together make a triangle. And what the way this works is this is an index for a vertex position. This is an index for a texture position, texture coordinate. And this is a index for a texture normal. So one, okay, then we're going to take the first one here. One on the second number here is the vertex texture so texture coordinate so that's the first one here and then one here is the first normal one but if you have a two obviously that's the second index here so that's how that works these indices will relate to the first array where in that array this stuff resides and it always starts at one and not zero our arrays start at zero so that's why you might see me using minus one uh, once i get these loaded in so each of these is a triangle each face is a vertex and we're going to load these in. The problems we're facing is that we need to ignore forward slashes. And once we hit a space, we need to reset and start off checking the uh, position. So that's how we're going to do. We're going to load the position, texture, coordinate, normal, reset, position, texture, coordinate, normal, and so on and so on. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to create a large vertex array. So first things first, we reach the prefix F. Okay. The next thing is we're going to load the next number into our uh into our temp gl int we're gonna load it in we also need a counter to kind of check what we have to load in so are we loading a normal are we loading a position or texture coordinate int counter equals zero so we're gonna keep that as zero right there now we're gonna do a few checks in here so if counter equals zero that's our first position. So if a counter is zero, then we're going to load something into the uh, position. So vertex position indices. Remember, make sure it's indices and not the regular position array. Dot pushback temp gl int. Whoops. Temp uh, gl int. Good. Now. For the texture coordinate, obviously, if counter equals 1, then we're going to load in the texture coordinate. Uh, vector text chord, chord indices. And if counter equals 2. Whoops. Oh, man, what is happening in life, bro? Okay. Uh then what we're going to do is we're going to do a vertex normal indices. Good. So that's our three things. Now we need to have a few stuff here. We First of all, we need to do else if here. Else if. So we don't do a bunch of if statements unnecessarily. Now we're going to check for these characters that we don't want. So for that, we need to peek using our string stream. Uh, we're going to check the next character. We're going to check the character loaded in. Sorry. We're going to check if it is a this character. Uh, peak equals. Oh, sorry. Uh, peak equals the forward slash. 
then we're going to do a bunch of stuff. Now, if it is forward slash, we need to increase our counter variable to go to the next thing. And that means that there is something after it. If it's a space, that means the vertex has ended. Remember, there's three numbers in each of these. So they're always between forward slashes. And after that, we need to do ss.ignore one character. And I want you to ignore the forward slash. That's going to increase the counter. Else if we reach a a space like that we're gonna do plus plus counter again and we're gonna ignore that space oh man I hit sometimes a fat finger like crazy son okay good job guys and girls so there we are now we need to do one last thing if our counter reaches above two obviously we need to reset it to zero so it should, so the next thing it takes is a position index again not something else okay so if this is not an else if be very careful about this make sure all these if statements everything look exactly like this okay be very careful double triple check if counter is greater than two counter equals zero so we're resetting the counter counter here we are handling characters here we are pushing in the indices into correct arrays okay and we're handling the faces here good uh, so that's pretty much it to read those in shouldn't be a problem once this is done you will have read in all your faces all your vertices into these indices the final step is gonna be down here. It's gonna be to build final vertex array mesh, build a final mesh, okay? And this is going to, this is going to do use, it's gonna use these three and combine it with these three, the other arrays and create vertices. So first things first, we need to reserve space for this vertex. And that, by that, I mean, we need to create the amount of vertices that there are in this object loader, the, the, how many indices there are. Okay, how many vertices we're going to need, basically. Now, if you look at the faces, if this is one vertex, then all of these vertices is how many we're going to need, the maximum number, right? If you count all of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, blah, 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 down here, that's how many you're going to need. So, and we know that each vertex requires a position. It must have a position. So the first one is the position index in each one of these. That means that if we check the size of the vertex position indices array, we will guaranteed have the exact number of vertices we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do vertices is our large vertex array dot reserve or sorry, resize because with resize, it actually creates elements inside. Not this vertex. Uh, position indices dot size and then we want to do empty vertices vertex like that so now we have filled this larger array with empty vertices with these many of them okay so once that is done now we can start making for loops we're gonna go through each one of these uh, vertex position indices dot size okay why is this not working there we go uh, and the reason I'm doing this is or we can do this vertex vertices dot size because how big this is now is exactly as big as all of these three so you don't have to worry okay these three are gonna be exactly the same size as this because yeah that's how it works that's how how we loaded them in uh, now once you did this this is going to load in, load in uh, all, vert, load in all indices or something. So we're going to, we're going to use the indices now. First step is the positions. So I'm going to say vertices, position. wait, vertices dot, at i, sorry, dot position equals vertex, positions okay not vertex position indices vertex positions at position vertex p 
position indices dot i. Okay. And the reason we're doing this is hopefully you understand these are containing indices. So exactly what's happening here is at this vertex, the first vertex position is this one here because this face specifies a number one and that's stored in this array here. So rewatch the video if you're confused. Hopefully you understand what's going on. Otherwise, I'll draw it up for you. Just comment and I'll try to make a, a further up video. But I, I guess you guys understand. Just rewatch the video if you really don't. And that should be fine. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to say vertex i dot text chord is vertex text chords. Okay. Be very careful about these arrays so you get the correct ones. Vertex text chord indices at position i. So for the first one. And then you want to do one more, and that is the normal, actually two more, normal, vertex normals, okay, is vertex normal indices at position i. And you probably want to do vertex vertices color here too. Uh, you just want to do a, what is that, a GLM VEC3 1.f, uh, 1.f. 1.f okay good so you get the full color right there once that's done you will have built your vertex arrays okay your beautiful vertex arrays this is just kind of ah, we can use vertex position indices dot size then we'll see exactly or vertices dot size good 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 and we'll just do that boom and that will print out how many vertices we have. And that's good, guys and girls. There you go. So pretty much this is it to load stuff. This else is going to be part of if there is nothing else here. It's just weird symbol. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, and this should load stuff in. I'm pretty sure we built this. So let's just run this and let's see if it loads stuff in and helps us out. In the next video, we're going to load a actual object in the dodecahedron straight up into our program it doesn't seem to crash so it didn't seem to crash and it did load in 108 vertices that does make sense i'd say uh, and that's great that's great guys that's great there you go so thanks so much for watching we'll probably have a lot of nice different uh, objects in the next video this might not be the best loader again please uh remember that uh, if you want to make it real nice, I suggest you keep working on it. I'll try to make it as good as I can for the simple purpose of tutorialing to helping you guys get started somewhere. Uh, but thank you so much for the support. Thanks for sticking with me. Check out the little eye on the right top corner there for all nice links. Also, the description box. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, drop a comment as well. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. So take care. I'll see you in the next one. Right. Bye bye.